Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And one of the advantages of having friends with old whiskey is I get to taste rare and seldom whiskeys. Um, green ore, 15 year old single grain, 43%, 2008 Cooley, back then it was Cooley. The brand was Green Ore. Green Ore turned into Kilbagan, eight-year-old, and Kilbagan turned into Kilbagan Single Grain. This is the new bottling. Maybe it'll be in the states one day. Um, green Ore, as I said, was the best single grain whiskey of the world in 2009, 10, and 11. Um, 69 euros to buy this bottle. And there was originally 5,000 bottled in 2008 and another 5,000 bottled in 2009. So we're now in 2018. <laughs> so basically 10 years later and I finally get to review it before the camera, probably because no one else was doing YouTube reviews back then. I don't even think Ralphie 10 years ago was doing YouTube videos. All right, so on the nose. Oh, it's very smooth. It's um, van a lot of vanilla. It's somewhat creamy, if I can say that from my on the nose, and there's a little bit of gra grain in there. Now, grain whiskey means that they use grain, not necessarily barley. They can if they want to, but usually they use the cheapest thing they can find. And in this case, it's 100% corn. For the rest of the world, maize. Now, um, sometimes they do put a little bit, for example, here we have 96% corn and 4% um, malted barley. It helps, of course, with the enzymes to make a nice little mash. Um, but this is actually 100% corn, um, just distilled the same way they do in the States. They use a column still, they distill it up to maybe 85, 90%, and just throw it in a barrel and leave it there. In this case, for 15 years. Um, usually, eight years in this case and in the other case of the new one it's a no age statement so why was this the best whiskey a single grain whiskey of the world three years running consecutively mm. Mm. because it's a very good grain wow smooth oh, a lot of the vanilla a little bit of the the wood mm. now it's not very complex it doesn't do this it just comes in I like grains oh, old particular has some very very nice single grains from Scotland out there and they're making some very very good single grains in Scotland of course for the blends um I don't think I've ever told this story, at least not on my English channel, so let's do this really quickly. Back when Mr. Kofi invented, invented his column still, he first of all brought it to the Irish and they said, nope, we don't want that cheap stuff. And the Scottish, of course, are a little bit um, cheapskate sometimes, at least that's what the Germans say. Um, they said, of course, we're going to use it. And then the Irish actually wanted to differentiate themselves from that cheap stuff coming out of Scotland. So they added the E. So the original writing of whiskey was well, without the E. Irish basically added it at the end of the 19th century to show we have the real single pot stuff. Well, what do you want? Do you want the real stuff or do you want the almost real stuff that's half the price? The world wanted the almost real stuff at half the price. That why, that's why um, Irish whiskey almost died out. Um, because they stuck to the guns and kept that. Cooley actually was one of the newer distilleries that actually um, was created in the 1980s um, by Mr. John Teeling. He took an old, um, let's just call it vodka factory. They made um, spirits from potatoes and it was an industrial um, plant and he turned it into a whiskey distillery. Now, going back to my story, um, the Scottish still use today a lot of their blends with grain and single malt. So they'll take as enough single malt as they need to have that and give that great flavor. But for the body and for all the rest, they take the grain. So if you ever drank anything from Johnny Walker, it's a mix of grain and malt. And Chevis Regal is a grain and malt mix as well. And, 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 and. 
And so also in Ireland, sometimes the cheaper whiskies, paddy, for example, would be a lot of the, the grain with some single malt in there. Wow, this is very good. I'm going to give it a solid B. Now, the value for money is a little bit difficult because you can't buy it anymore. Um, you might be able to get it in an auction and so on, but just the price I found a few years ago was 69 euros, so 70 euros, um, 75 dollars. That's a lot for a grain whiskey, to be honest, even if it's 15 years old and even if it was three times in a row, the best single malt whiskey of the world. And so I'm just going to give it a C minus for the value for money. All right, Whiskey Jason here. My question of the day is, what is your favorite single grain whiskey? Hmm. I know what mine is. I actually did a video with a, um, a fellow YouTuber, Whiskey Gold, G-O-L-D, and we tasted a 50-year-old Cooper's Choice single grain whiskey that was heavenly. So what's your single, favorite single grain whiskey? Um, green ore is close, but it's not even in competition with the 50-year-old. So, thank you very much for watching. My videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I would like you to like, and if you could be possible, please subscribe or even share my videos with others. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.